Hi everybody, Patty Ann here. Hang on. The first thing I want to do today is just address something that confused some people the other day. Perhaps I said it incorrectly. But when I did my little Olaf guy, I said I used printable vinyl, which is true. I did use printable vinyl, but it was also heat transfer vinyl or iron on vinyl, HTV and iron-on vinyl are the same thing basically. It just means that you need heat to make it adhere to something. Other vinyl just sticks because it's sticky on the back. This stuff is not sticky on the back. I have to heat it to make it set. That's why it's called heat transfer vinyl or HTV or um, iron-on vinyl. And the stuff that I use, this is printable vinyl, printable HTV or iron on vinyl and the product that I used was this one Jolie's and it says it's for dark fabric and it's five transfer sheets. I, I don't sell this or anything. I just bought it at Joann's with a coupon. See it shows it being put onto different pieces of fabric and it even shows down here that you look at it at your screen, print it, iron it on and there you go. So this is a heat transfer vinyl or an iron-on vinyl, printable iron-on vinyl, and this is what I used. It's not the same thing as this, which is the printable vinyl that's not HTV. Let me see if I can find that for you. Here it is. This is regular Cricut vinyl printable vinyl that is not heat transfer vinyl. In other words, this jazz right here, if I take a sheet of this and peel the backing away, well it's hard to do, but anyway, if I peel the backing away, one piece, the, the part I'm going to adhere to something is sticky. It's going to stick onto something. I don't have to heat it at all with an iron or a heat press. So this is just regular printable vinyl. The other one is heat transfer or iron on vinyl. Let's see if I can, here are these sheets. And if I was able to peel one away, and this is just difficult to do, but if I could peel the, here I get it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Yay. All right, here it is. Look at this. This is not sticky at all. This has to be heated in order to stick on. Now this vinyl is printable, but it's HTV. It's heat transfer vinyl. It has to be transferred on with heat. You see, it's not sticky at all, right? Whereas this one, the other one that I had, let me try to stay organized and put this back away. I just throw things sometimes and drive myself nuts. Okay, wait, let me grab this one, which I threw on the floor. This one, as I said, if I open it up, see if I can get one of these. This is just regular vinyl, not heat transfer vinyl. I don't need heat to make it stick to something. Here we go, here we go. All right, now check this out. This is the transfer of the carrier sheet. This is sticky. This is gonna stick onto something just like it is. This is regular vinyl. The other one is HTV or heat transfer vinyl, also known as iron on vinyl. This will stick without an iron. The other one has to be ironed in order to kind of melt the thing to make it stick to something. So anyway, so today, here's what I'm gonna talk about today. I made some more stickers. You remember how I was making stickers yesterday for a planner? Well, I was playing around with making more stickers again. <coughs> throw that on the floor and if you come over to here to Cricut Design Space you'll see everything that I've been making. Woo wee Look at all these things. My goodness I've been a busy bee and I can tell you how I made some of these. For example this one that's being circled around right now I don't have like a square behind it so when it cuts out the machine is going to go around the edges of all of these letters like this, okay? If I don't want it to do that and I just want it to make a square, cut a square out, 
What you need to do is you come up to shapes, grab a shape. I usually grab the square. I'm going to unlock it so I can make it proportional to what I need it to be. I got all this stuff in the way that I'm going to get confused with. All right, so now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to send it to the back or move it backwards. Send it to the back. I could also come up here to arrange if I wanted to and move backward or move to the back. But usually it's easier to right click on the thing and then say move, send to back. So now I have this on the front and I can see how much smaller I can make my square. And then I'm going to come over here since it's highlighted over here in my layers panel and I'm going to change it to white. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do is just take both of these and come over to the right hand side and flatten. So what's going to happen now is when my machine goes to cut, rather than cutting after it prints, after my printer prints it, and I put this in my Cricut to cut it, rather than cutting around each one of these letters individually, it's going to cut the square, okay? Okay, now on a few of these, like for example, Olaf here, on my first sample that I did, he print, I did not have a box around him, which really worried me as soon as I saw the machine going like this around to cut him out, I thought, oh no. But it worked out fine. It actually turned out pretty cute. The same thing, I forgot to do Mickey Mouse. I forgot to put a box around him, but it turned out well. And by the way, these are things that I've purchased, <coughs> excuse me, through Cricut Design Space, Pluto, Mini, Mickey, anything like that. A lot of these other images may be free or they may be from Cricut Design, I mean, Access. And some of them I grabbed from um, what's free this week. Okay, and I'm going to make another video to show that because there's probably going to be a lot of people that get crickets for Christmas and won't know how to do some of these things. But anyway, let me show you what's on my desktop. So I've already print this one and cut it. This is on the regular print and cut vinyl and they've turned out perfectly. Here's my little Olaf who I was afraid about, remember? Okay, if I get his little arm started. Okay, he turned out really cute. Just have to be careful when you pick him up, but look at him. Isn't he adorable? OMG, he is cute, cute as can be. That's a little sticker there for you. I don't remember if I had bleed on or not. It looks like I may have, I'm not sure. I didn't double check that. Anyway, these are all done on this kind of um, printable vinyl, okay, printable sheets. So to yesterday, I got from Cricut these printable clear sticker paper. And I'm just curious how that stuff works. Well, the first thing I did was I opened it up and I got out this sheet and I was like, okay, oh, let me, yeah, you see what I'm doing. Okay, so I was like, well, what size the sticker side? And it doesn't really look clear, but I understand there's a carrier sheet that's kind of frosted. And oh, that should give me a tip, maybe, but I'm not sure because the directions say inside here to, uh, once your project design is complete, load your Cricut sticker paper into your inkjet printer. Feed the sticker paper into your printer to ensure it prints on the sticker paper side and not the backer. And I was like, okay, which is the backer and which is the sticker side? How in the heck am I supposed to know that? So what I did was, and oh dear, I probably don't have the exact one again. I took one of these, ah, it's this one, okay, and I was able to peel a little corner back, let me move this out of the way, peel a little corner back, and then that allowed me to see, okay, what part of this is sticky and would be the sticker paper? Well, it's the clear part, the very shiny, smoother part. So now I know 
I need it to print on this shinier, smoother part. So when I put this into my printer, on my printer, the part I want to print on has to be down. So I'm going to put this down into my printer like this. So hang on. I'm going to do that right now. So here I am. I'm going to go to continue. Here's the thing. I'm going to leave this one exactly like the other one because I've never used this stuff before and I don't know how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to send it to my printer. First, I'm going to select my Cricut. So there it is. I have the Cricut Explorer, which I love. And I'm going to send this to the printer. Um, when I'm sending it to the printer, I have mine selected, as you'll see there. I'm going to take it over and put it in my printer. Remember now, shiny, very smooth side down. Put this out so I can get my paper all the way in where it needs to be. Okay, come back over here. I don't need to change anything on this because I'm going to leave it exactly how it was before and yes I do have bleed on so I'm just going to hit print and it's going to start printing over there and while it's printing as soon as it starts okay while it's printing I'm going to set my material and just say search all materials and just put in sticker maybe it'll show up and hit enter. Okay, there they are. Clear sticker paper. I'm going to highlight that. You notice I have sticker paper already. That's the regular sticker. I'm going to highlight this by hitting this little star and it will become one of my favorites. And then I'm going to say done. And now it's ready as you can see because right here it says clear sticker paper and it's ready and it is done printing. So I'm going to go get it. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh, looks gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Wowie, 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 wow. Look at this, you guys. Let me put this on my desk and bring you back over here. Oh. All right. So here it is. Okay, it's all printed on the clear paper. As opposed to this one, this is the clear sticker paper. And this is the regular sticker paper. Look at the difference. Isn't that cool? Now I'm curious to see how this one is going to cut compared to this one. That's why I like to do the experimenting. Anyway, let me put this on here. Remember, I need to make sure that I have it on the same way that it shows on my sheet here. So I'm going to put it on just like this, which is perfect. And I'm afraid to squeegee it down. I don't want to smear anything. So I'm just going to tap it down a little bit with my hands. Because I think it's, oh, I don't know. Maybe I better squeegee it. I don't want any air bubbles in it. All right, so let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just gently squeegeeing it, making sure oh, that there aren't any air bubbles. And, you know, those of you that are experienced with these, you're probably like thinking, oh, Patty Ann, you don't need to be that worried about this stuff. It's pretty darn strong but since this is my first time I'm kind of scared you guys know how that is right remember the first time you got your Cricut or your maker out of the box <laughs> it was scary we load it hit the load button and hit cut so you remember the first thing it's going to do is it's going to put on the light and check to see where the bounding box is or where that box is that goes around it. You know, it's pretty impressive. Sometimes we get sort of upset about how much, uh, how big of a place Cricut can print and cut. Look, look at that size of that thing. It's almost the whole eight and a half by 11 sheet. It could, it could hardly be any bigger, really. So it's going to finish and then it's going to start cutting. Okay, you're going to, now I am a little bit worried 
watch. See, that's going a square around that because I had put one around that or under it. Now with Olaf, I did not. So look how it's cutting him individually. And as I had shown you, if I didn't want him to do this, I could have put a box behind him, colored the box white, and then I would have flattened both of those things together. And then rather than it cutting around him like it's doing right now, it would have, <coughs> excuse me, just cut around the box like it did just there and like it's going to do here around the cupcake. Okay, it's finished cutting, supposedly, and I'm going to take it off my mat and it's coming off nice and easily. I'm using a rather, whoa, sounds a little crunchy, a little sticky mat. Uh, I, th I wonder why that got buckled up like that. That's odd. Anyway, <clears throat> okay, so I have two different things here. <clears throat> so let's see how it, how it, this works. Here's that uh, planner that I had gotten the other day at Michael's. They were 40% off, so I got one just so I could, I actually got one for a gift for somebody and I got one for myself, just so I can play with learning how to use uh, Cricut Design Space and Cricut to do these things. Okay, so this is the one that was on the regular vinyl, and I think I'll put it over here. There's no December. If there was, I would use the December so I could keep track of maybe some of the things I've been doing on my videos. So there's that one. Very nicely comes on. Let me try to get this one off of here now. Let's see. How easy is this going to work? Okay, I heard, okay oh, perfect. Now I heard somebody say that she had to change this so that the cut was a little bit deeper and I might have to do the same because that edge got cut off a little bit right there. So let me try another one. There's that. Okay, uh, let's try... Uh, keeping warm. Okay. Have to go slowly. Actually, this isn't working. This one did not work well at all. Look at that. See that? It's got messed up. So let me try another one. Cold as ice. All right, this is not working that great. I think that maybe my, that worked pretty well, the cold as ice. Let me try mini. Maybe it would help if I <coughs> cut these apart first instead of just taking them from the big sheet, like cut out the one I want to get. I don't know if that would make a difference or not. Kind of rough cut around it. I don't think I should have to do this though, but let's just see if it makes a difference. So let's say I'm trying to get mini, and I kind of bend it to get it started, I guess. And no, I'm not, uh, I'm not thrilled with how this is working. See, some it's not cutting perfectly. So this is another part of my test, right? So I'm thinking what I need to do is I need to go back and do another sheet like this, but this time look up here at Cricut Design Space. What I'm going to do is notice when it says, well, let me pretend like I'm finished. Okay, and I have all this stuff ready to do. And I'm going to come up here and say make it. It's going to take a few moments because that was still twirling. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is get out another sheet of this vinyl. Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to go to continue. And I'm going to send it to the printer.
and the printer is not the issue. So let me open a piece of this. and take out another sheet. Now remember which side is supposed to be down in my printer or which side am I supposed to print on? The glossier shot side or the smoother side. So I'll put that side down in my printer and I'll be right back. And while that's printing I'm going to show you what I'm going to do differently. And you know this is messed up right here on my planner. Uh, and I'm just going to write a little note to myself, telling myself what I did so that this works better next time. So I've sent this to my printer, and now what I'm going to do is select my device and go to Explore Air 2. That's what I have. And when I'm here, I'm going to set the material clear printable sticker paper. I thought I put a little star there. Done. Clear printable sticker paper. But this is what I'm going to do different this time. You see right here where it says pressure and it says default. I'm going to change that pressure, pressure to more to see if that will cut it better this time. So it's already done printing. Let me uh, get it and put it on the mat and get ready to cut it again. Okay, the second sheet has finished cutting. Remember what I did differently was, <coughs> excuse me, I increased the, um, what was it called? The pressure. Okay, let's see. So what I did was I made it say more. I'm making that crunchy noise. <laughs> All right, let me move my mat out of the way. And let's see. So if I come up here, oh, I'm noticing already a difference. Look at that. The very first one came out perfectly. Let me get my journal or my uh, planner out again. And where was I? Here. So this is it now. I'll put it right below the one that was biffed up, messed up. That worked out perfectly. Okay, which ones did I throw them on the floor? Let's see, which, oh no, here we go. So I tried to do, I tried to do Minnie Mouse, remember? Minnie and she really got messed up. I mean, she's a mess. So let me try Minnie from this sheet to see if it works better. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Minnie came out perfectly. So I need to put her in the same row. Wow. All right, let me try another one on this sheet that was poorly cut, in my opinion. Let's try Adventure Seeker. Okay, that's coming out pretty good, except for at the end. You notice that's it's kind of, oh, there we go, not bad. Adventure Seeker. Okay, and let's try it on this one, Adventure Seeker. Oh, much easier though. Do you notice that? And let's see if we can tell the difference in how they look. Now they look pretty much the same. Let's try one more. Here's the bad sheet. <laughs> Let me, oh, this will be a tester right here. I'll try Olaf and the bad sheet. See, he's stuck there. He, he's not all the way cut through. I could get him if I tried really hard. There he is. And let's see how well easily he comes off of this sheet, if it's a difference. Oh yeah, check that out. Did you see that? I hope you can see what's happening here. So, here's the thing. Let's go back up to Cricut Design Space. And let me show you once again. I have this changed to clear printable sticker paper. And what I did was I changed the pressure. It was on default right? But I changed it to more. Only when I did this clear printable sticker paper did I need to do that. When I did the regular stickers that I had done yesterday, um, I didn't need to do that at all. 
So I guess that's it for today. Uh, so today's lesson learned was make sure if you're using the clear sticker paper that you change the default pressure to more pressure and they will work perfectly. Appreciate it if you like my videos to give me a thumbs up and also share it across social media. So thanks you guys. Bye.